Hello, I'm Mark Ryan with Ryan Law Center in Paducah, Kentucky and Louisville, Kentucky. Insurance claims adjusters will use a variety of tactics to reduce settlements their employers have to pay. Some are ethical and some much less so. Learning a bit about how adjusters play the settlement game will help you avoid being taken advantage of. Number one, adjuster, adjusters frequently begin negotiations with a very low first offer. Uh, and, and see, I've got these questions I'm holding up just a, you know, just a, a low ball offer, which is always insulting. But to justify their offer, they'll pull from a grab bag of reasons. For starters, they might say, well, number one, the accident didn't cause all your injuries. Some of them are pre-existing. Maybe you played football in high school. Maybe that was part of the problem. The other driver was not at fault. His car suffered a mechanical problem. God made it happen. I mean, they, they can come up with so many excuses, it's unbelievable. And another one is the accident was unavoidable. Remember that the adjuster's personal reviews, how much money they make, future raises, and prospective promotions encourage low settlement payouts. They don't want to pay you even though you paid for insurance all these years because it puts money in their pocket, in their employee's pocket, and also in the pocket of the stockholders and the insurance uh, company owners. The adjuster is not on your side. He or she is not your friend, though many will at least pretend to be. Now let's go to the second question. Uh, they, qu they question your treatment. Well, the first thing we would tell you is if you come to see us, be sure and go tell the doctor the truth about the problems that you might have in uh, uh, with, with uh, health issues as a result of the automobile accident you're in. But number two, when they say to whittle down your claimed economic damages, adjusters will question your medical treatment. They might say to people, you were slow to begin treatment, which caused you to require more treatment than would have been needed had you promptly seen a doctor. That's why it's important when you get out of an automobile accident, if you hurt bad enough and there's an ambulance there, take the ambulance to the hospital. If you don't, I'm telling you, these problems come up after two or three days. Sometimes you think you're fine, but I am not kidding you. This stuff, when you have whiplash, people make fun of it. The reason they make fun of it is because the insurance companies make fun of it because you can't see when you have whiplash. It doesn't come up on your x-ray. So what you do know is that if you go to the doctor and you tell the doctor truthfully what your pain problem is, the doctor will give you some kind of prescription and they'll write it down. And that's how we're able to prove how you've been harmed by what doctors say about you. So go to the doctor, go to the physical therapist or the chiropractors, and, and then they're gonna say that you obtained low value treatment from a chiropractor. It doesn't warrant them having full consideration. So that's how the insurance companies, the next thing they do is say, oh yeah, you went to a chiropractor. Well, chiropractors help people too. It's not like, just like physicians, but they help in a different way. The insurance companies malign them. So try first to go to a doctor and then go to treatment if you need to with the, with the chiropractor's office. And number three, they try to shift the blame. Insurers will commonly try to assign extra blame to you or minimize the fault of their driver. For starters, they may say you had a chance to avoid the accident, which you did not take full advantage of. I mean, like everybody wants to have a wreck, but that's what they're gonna say, that you didn't do anything to stop them having a wreck, like you intentionally got hit. Or they may claim, for example, that you must have been speeding. Otherwise, you certainly could have braked in time. So once again, they try to make it your fault and don't let them do that. In fact, the best thing you can do is go out and hire a lawyer that knows what they're doing, and deals with this on a daily basis, because they can set up a call with the insurance company and they'll be on the phone call with you and that way the insurance company won't be able to take advantage of you. 